So today I got a parcel in the mail. It should contain my new Fairphone. Let's see what's inside. Some plastic and a letter confirming that it's my new Fairphone. And a tiny little box. Let's open it. And ta-da! This is your Fairphone and some postcard. Let's see what's written on them. The first one says that there is no new charger with your new phone. As indeed, most probably you have still an old one lying around somewhere. The second one explains that your phone has slots for two SIM cards. The idea is that if you need two phone numbers, you put both cards in one phone so that you don't have to walk around with two of them. The third one is a recipe from the people of the region where actually the Fairphone is produced. Try it out sometime. Now the next one is a special one. It explains that the tantalum used to produce the phone comes from conflict-free mines in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And then comes a card that tells you to open your old phone and discover what's inside. Or even better, organize an urban mining workshop. You can find information about this on fairphone.com. If you can't open it, you don't own it. It says that you can order spare parts at fairphone.com and then repair it yourself. This one is, I presume, a joke for those who say that a small startup can never produce good phones. Now, let's have a look at the phone itself. This is your fair phone. It looks quite solid, with a metal back, quite heavy, about one centimeter thick. On the top of the phone you have the USB plug and a soundtrack and, of course, the power button. Start a new movement, Fairphone. And this is what you see when you start your phone for the first time. Now let's select the language, English, Wi-Fi setup, I'm selecting my local network and I'm connected. Welcome, you hold in your hands a phone built in a way that puts social values first, but yes, it makes phone calls too. Let's see how to use it. There is this swipe from the side. You come with your finger and release it when you're on the right application. Let's try this out in real. Swipe from the side and go to phone or messages or applications. Now here we have various pre-installed applications. But unlike uh, probably other phones you have, there are no annoying pre-installed applications that you can't uninstall. Now, peace of mind. This is a little app that has been developed by Fairphone. It allows you to temporarily put your phone on flight mode, meaning you can't receive any messages or phone calls for whatever time you need. Let's go for 15 minutes now. And we see the phone is on flight mode. And we can go back and switch it off again. Now the Fairphone comes without any applications from Google, meaning you can use it without having to worry about privacy. But if you still want to add Google apps, a pre-installed app allows to easily download all these Google apps, including Play Store, from which you can download more. To do this, the system will temporarily ask you for a system permission. Uh, just click OK and go ahead and it will install all by itself. Your phone will then download some things and then restart and then install some things 
and then restart again and then you should be able to access your phone again and now Google asks you to log in with your account or create a new one if now we go to the apps we see that all the standard Google apps like Gmail, Google, Google Search or Google Plus are installed and we of course have Play Store now let's have another look at the inside of the phone you can take off the lid at the back of the phone and inside you see a nice note that you have been one of the first to order a fair phone and here the battery it says this is your battery it provides the power to keep you connected but in case it ever runs out of energy you can always replace it find out more on the back and if we take it out how do we do that here we have all the pretty standard explanations about the battery and how not to use it so let's go back to the phone well we see we have two slots for sim cards and one for a micro sd card um, it explains where what goes all pretty standard so let's put in my sim card and i have the battery and close the lid and restart again Loading, start with movement, fair phone. That's it, definitely not a fail phone, definitely a fair phone.